Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards. Today is Wednesday, October 7th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, we have one birthday today, and that is Miss Neora Brown in second grade. We love you, Neora, and we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we do have some open-minded leopard leaders to share about from across our school from Miss Croce's class. Jack Barron has embraced virtual kindergarten with an incredibly open mind. His positive attitude and excitement for being in our class each day are absolutely contagious. We're so glad that you're one of our classmates, Jack. From Miss Covington's class, Isabella Bowman joins class with an open mind each and every school day. She is new to Johnson this year, but has been such a roaring example of keeping an open mind and showing kindness to all of her new teachers and classmates. For Miss Matchin's class, Calvin Howard has been very open-minded with his virtual learning. He is eager to work with the technology and comes ready to learn each day. Calvin is also open to the ideas of his classmates. I'm so proud of you, Calvin. And from Ms. Crawley's class, Zephyr Chitowski is open-minded to changes in her schedule. She's willing to try new strategies for screen time balance and always has a positive attitude when we try new games. Great job, Zephyr, and great job to all of those open-minded leopard leaders. All right, please join in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson learning leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news you can use. Our Hispanic heritage hero of the day is Yuli Morales. She is an illustrator and author who was born in Mexico. She moved to the U.S. when she was in her 20s. She didn't speak any English and she learned it, get this, by watching Sesame Street with her son and reading him books. As a child, she loved drawing, but she said that she would never have dreamed of being an artist as a job. But after reading picture books with her son, she started to imagine that she could be an author and illustrator. Today, she has written and illustrated many books, and Miss Flowers has some of them in our library. She was the first Latina to win the Caldecott Award for her illustrations. Maybe you could be an author and illustrator or both too. All right, that's all I've got. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and think about how you can roar today at home or wherever you are. We love you and we hope you have a wonderful day.